everyone and welcome back to How Ain't As Rolls. It is Saturday morning, it's about 10.30 and we have a lot of work to do. We have some friends and coming over for um, a UFC fight night tonight so we need to get everything in order and um, Paul is kind of getting a head start on our Sunday dinner. Plus I'm going to be making some, um, some pasta sauce. I'm so excited to go. Let's go, let's get started. Paul is um, getting his uh, roast ready to go put on the smoker. He's got everything here. He's just making some bouillon. Do you want to tell us what's in the rub? Yeah, so this here is brown sugar, paprika, chili powder, red chili flakes down there, uh, or, I'm sorry, crushed red pepper. And this over here is garlic powder, black pepper, and onion powder. There's so no just mixed up? Yeah, I will mix it up. There's no salt in there because we're gonna do a beef bouillon, mm -hmm. and we'll have it. We'll have the the roast cooking in a kind of a beef bath a little bit, but um, we're also gonna inject the bouillon into the to the roast. That's why we have the the injector. Can't wait. So every so often, we kind of well, I guess I should say we all kind of take turns um, hosting a UFC fight night. Danny really does more of the hosting and Tina, but every so often we'll do it and then we go overboard. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, we're just, so back here, we're just gonna do hot dogs and chips and then everybody brings something. So it's kind of awesome. Um, we are having like five or six families with their kids. Hi, Ezzy. Look at his hair. I comb it all nice and ugh. Anyway, so we're gonna be doing some cleaning up, some setting up the backyard. Uh, those are for tonight, Ezra. But what I need to do is get started on, on lunch. And so one of my fan, or one of my friends, I, can't, I don't wanna say fan, one of my friends, she sent uh, a recipe for making homemade, her favorite homemade tomato sauce or spaghetti sauce. And so I'm going to make that today. And thank you so much, Cheryl, because I need to get going on making it. I'm super excited. We have everything ready. So it's just crushed tomatoes, some tomato paste, and then seasoning. So I need to get this going. And she said for 90 minutes. I love when recipes are like a few dashes because it just means that they have mastered this recipe. So I know that this is gonna be a yummy. I've tried some different ones and um, I just didn't like how they turned out. So I'm so grateful to Cheryl for sending me her favorite recipe. So I am, I just kind of did some equations, so I figured a one and a half teaspoons is gonna work. So I'm just gonna let that simmer for 90 minutes. So with the rub, you just wanna put a liberal amount on the, on the meat, all over all sides. That looks so good. Top and bottom, yep, and around all the sides. And uh, with the extra bouillon, and the reason we didn't put salt into the rub is because bouillon is really salty. So is that some in there too? You put some of the seasoning in the bouillon. I did. So I, we did two um, or four cups of bouillon split in half. So two cups are in the pan, two cups are in the jar, and then I took some of the rub and put it in here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go put this on the infrared sear on the grill, and that will give it a nice. Uh, bark on the outside and then after I take it off the infrared uh, sear I'll inject it with this right here oh okay so I thought you were gonna do that right now but that's okay all right he's searing it he's just starting so I'll show you what that looks like when he's flipping it over wow can't wait till tomorrow to eat this so Paula right now is injecting it with that the full the flavored uh, beef stock yeah, and um, you kind of want to be, you want to go slow about this because you can actually see it swelling up where the the stock oh, is going yeah, in. yeah, I can see it. But now it's starting to come out the top a little bit. I've done this in the past and if you're not careful, it'll squirt out of the hole and get all over your clothes and, and then you got to go wash them and that's not always <laughs> fun. Well, they look good. I like the sear marks on that and everything. So, yeah. so with the extra rub that we didn't use, we're gonna just put it in the in the pan here. Mm -hmm. So that way it'll be cooking in the rub in the broth, 
and it'll be cooking throughout inside as well. Great. So things are under control over here, kind of getting some things ready, straightening up. So starting to happen. Also, I might do some spot mopping, which I'm kind of old school. I've been through so many mops and I just use like one of our brooms and scrub and then mop it up with a towel. And to me, I just think that that is the cleanest way I can get my floors. But you know, I'm a little old school. I'm sure there's some product out there. Do you remember when I went to Winco and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get these cookies because I won't eat them. Ugh, yeah, right, I might eat this whole thing. Ugh, they're so good. So there's my soapy water. I just used some um, Mrs. Meyers soap and I used alcohol because I didn't have any pine salt. So I don't mind using pine salt on the floors, but a little alcohol will make it shine. So I just scrub it. So my favorite floor scrubber had the rotating bristles and it went kaput about five years ago. So I just kind of scrub it with a broom and just use some towels to wipe it clean and it's nice and shiny. So I'm gonna be making our family a very, very easy lunch. So what I'm gonna do is, these are from Costco. We saw them the last time we were there. They're like little naan breads. They're really yummy. Like we've already made them with like some um, quesadillas. So I'm gonna use them as the base of our um, little pizzas. So easy, easy peasy, right? So I'm just gonna make a bunch and I might even make more only because I kinda wanna use them up, but I'll start the next batch later. And the sauce, can you see all that steam? <gasps> Yum, I'm so excited. It smells so good. Even my husband was walking through and he's like, oh, I can't, that smells really good. So I am so happy to have made this. So um, let me show you a little bit better. Can you see that? I'm gonna bring one up to the, the sauce. Uh, yum. Okay. So now you can see it a little bit easier, right? It's all up close. So good. So I'm just gonna be adding a little bit, I'm just gonna make little cheese pizzas. Um, and I'm also making, a, or I, I made a salad, and I'm also going to, you can see here, those are gonna be cut cucumbers. We'll have those out there too, in case my little guys don't want to have salad, which is often. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna hit, I don't normally buy, like I, I, if you've seen me from the beginning, I don't like to buy that package, um, cheeses is I, I know they're wonderful for convenience and they really are I just like cutting it I think it melts easier or shredding it myself so I don't normally buy tons of pizza toppings anyway so this is easy right now so I'm good this is good and of course Winco <laughs> I'm just gonna hit it with a little bit of parm on top parmesan cheese for a little more depth and then I'm just gonna bake those. They probably won't take very long, so um, we're gonna be eating very quick here. You guys, it is all done, and it is looking so good. It smells delicious. What you got there? So the meat thermometer. Oh, I, yes. I, I used it, and we didn't get that on on film but or on camera but I used it to make sure that we were in the, the medium well to well done area because we don't like rare meat or medium rare we like and what's that temperature it tells you on the thermometer right yeah it says well done for beef is 170 oh yeah but I actually let it get to 175 for a few minutes okay um, let's it, see it yum yum so this is a bread knife but <laughs> The, the serrations are so good on it, it cuts beef really well, and we have another bread knife that we use to cut bread, so. That's true. Oh man, so this is gonna be our um, dinner tomorrow. So it just takes, how many hours did this take? Uh, about four. Four hours to make this. So you could see why we couldn't really do this while we were at church tomorrow. So, oh man, that looks perfect. I mean, the boys are gonna love it. I could, I could even eat it a little bit pink. And, uh, you, the grain on the beef is running this way. Mm -hmm. So you always want to cut cross grain. You want to cut against the grain or 
the meat's stringy and tough. And, well, there's something else, but I can't remember what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Before you cut into your meat, let it sit for about 20 minutes because if you let it sit, it, it cools down a little bit and it keeps the juices. Yeah, it keeps the juices in. And uh, that's beautiful. Yeah, I, I might have had a little piece off the other end, and that was <laughs> it's good. good. Yeah, it was very juicy still, which was nice. Well, thanks for making our dinner for tomorrow. You owe me. I do everything around here. <laughs> so good. Can't wait to have it for dinner tomorrow. Thanks for stopping by and for checking out our... Have a wonderful weekend, and stick around. You never know what I'll be rolling out next.